performance in regards to say a marathon is exactly the same. Couch to marathon training is not just, we're gonna keep adding 10 Ks each week. It's being smart and knowing what the end point is, what we can start at, and how do we ebb and flow? So then we start to go, okay, well, we're gonna work off maybe a four to five week build, and then I wanna pull back a little bit to make sure we give the opportunity for rest. And those weeks that we're deloading that running volume also gives us buffer, because if someone gets sick or gets injured, which we hope they don't, then we've already accounted for a certain number of weeks that have been deloaded. So that means that if in week five they were meant to cut 20 Ks off their week, but they get injured week three or they get sick in week three, that's okay, we've already buffered. We know we've got three or four weeks that we've got low here. So we can just shift that to a week three and we can start building back up from there. So a lot of people will start to argue, oh, you know, there's no point planning out a framework because ultimately someone's life's gonna get in the way and if you've planned a deload for week five, but then you know work gets busy in week four and they don't train as much, so there's your deload. Well, you're right, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't be preparing for it. We know that we've got three to four weeks set in this program. If we move a week, that's okay. It's not like it's fixed in stone, but for our own planning and knowledge, we need to know what we've got up our sleeve and in the bank to be able to utilize, or at least what we need to make up for in the next two to three weeks.